Section 33 of The Art of Cookery Made Plain and Easy by Hannah Glass. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 16 of Cheesecakes, Creams, Jellies, Whipped Syllabubs, etc. To Make Fine Cheesecakes Take a pint of cream, warm it, and put to it five quarts of milk warm from the cow. Then put runnet into it, and give it a stir about. And when it is come, put the curd in a linen bag or cloth, let it drain well away from the whey, but do not squeeze it much. Then put it in a mortar, and break the curd as fine as butter. Put to your curd half a pound of sweet almonds blanched and beat exceeding fine, and half a pound of macaroons beat very fine. If you have no macaroons, get Naples biscuits. Then add to it the yolks of nine eggs beaten, a whole nutmeg grated, two perfumed plums dissolved in rose or orange flower water, half a pound of fine sugar. Mix all well together, then melt a pound and a quarter of butter, and stir it well in it, and half a pound of currants plumped to let stand to cool till you use it. Then make your puff paste thus. Take a pound of fine flour, wet it with cold water, roll it out, put into it by degrees a pound of fresh butter, and shake a little flour on each coat as you roll it. Make it just as you use it. You may leave out the currants for change, nor need you put in the perfume plums if you dislike them. And for variety, when you make them of macaroons, put in as much tincture of saffron as will give them a high colour, but no currants. This we call saffron cheesecakes. The other, without currants, almond cheesecakes. With currants, fine cheesecakes. With macaroons, macaroon cheesecakes. To make lemon cheesecakes. Take the peel of two large lemons, boil it very tender. Then pound it well in a mortar, with a quarter of a pound or more of loaf sugar, the yolks of six eggs, and half a pound of fresh butter, and a little curd beat fine. Pound and mix all together. Lay a puff paste in your patty pans, fill them half full, and bake them. Orange cheesecakes are done the same way, only you boil the peel in two or three waters to take out the bitterness. A second sort of lemon cheesecakes. Take two large lemons, grate off the peel of both, and squeeze out the juice of one, and add to it half a pound of double refined sugar, twelve yolks of eggs, eight whites well beaten, then melt half a pound of butter in four or five spoonfuls of cream, then stir it all together, and set it over the fire, stirring it till it begins to be pretty thick. Then take it off, and when it is cold, fill your patty pans little more than half full. Put a paste very thin at the bottom of your patty pans. Half an hour, with a quick oven, will bake them. To make almond cheesecakes. Take half a pound of Jordan almonds, and lay them in cold water all night. The next morning, blanch them into cold water. Then take them out and dry them in a clean cloth. Beat them very fine in a little orange flower water. Then take six eggs, leave out four whites, beat them and strain them, then half a pound of white sugar with a little beaten mace. Beat them well together in a marble mortar. Take ten ounces of good fresh butter, melt it, a little grated lemon peel, and put them in the mortar with the other ingredients. Mix all well together, and fill your patty pans. To make fairy butter. Take the yolks of two hard eggs, and beat them in a marble mortar with a large spoonful of orange flower water, and two teaspoonfuls of fine sugar beat to powder. Beat this all together till it is a fine paste, then mix it up with about as much fresh butter out of the churn, and force it through a fine strainer full of little holes into a plate. 
This is a pretty thing to set off a table at supper. To make almond custards. Take a pint of cream, blanch and beat a quarter of a pound of almonds fine, with two spoonfuls of rose water. Sweeten it to your palate. Beat up the yolks of four eggs, stir all together one way over the fire till it is thick, then pour it out into cups, or you may bake it in little china cups. To make baked custards. One pint of cream boiled with mace and cinnamon. When cold, take four eggs, two whites left out, a little rose and orange flower water and sack, nutmeg and sugar to your palate. Mix them well together and bake them in china cups. To make plain custards. Take a quart of new milk, sweeten it to your taste, grate in a little nutmeg, beat up eight eggs, leave out half the whites, beat them up well, stir them into the milk, and bake it in china basins, or put them in a deep china dish. Have a kettle of water boiling, set the cup in, let the water come above half way, but do not let it boil too fast, for fear of its getting into the cups, and take a hot iron and colour them at the top. You may add a little rose water. To make orange butter. Take the yolks of ten eggs beat very well, half a pint of Rhenish, six ounces of sugar, and the juice of three sweet oranges. Set them over a gentle fire, stirring them one way till it is thick. When you take it off, stir in a piece of butter as big as a large walnut. To make steeple cream. Take five ounces of hartshorn and two ounces of ivory, and put them in a stone bottle. Fill it up with fair water to the neck. Put in a small quantity of gum arabic and gum dragon. Then tie up the bottle very close, and set it into a pot of water with hay at the bottom. Let it stand six hours. Then take it out, and let it stand an hour before you open it lest it fly in your face. Then strain it, and it will be a strong jelly. Then take a pound of blanched almonds, beat them very fine, mix it with a pint of thick cream, and let it stand a little. Then strain it out, and mix it with a pound of jelly. Set it over the fire till it is scalding hot. Sweeten it to your taste with double refined sugar. Then take it off, put in a little amber, and pour it into small high gallipots, like a sugar loaf at top. When it is cold, turn them, and lay cold whipped cream about them in heaps. Be sure it does not boil when the cream is in. Lemon Cream Take five large lemons, pare them as thin as possible. Steep them all night in twenty spoonfuls of spring water with the juice of the lemons. Then strain it through a jelly bag into a silver saucepan, if you have one. The whites of six eggs beat well, ten ounces of double refined sugar. Set it over a very slow charcoal fire. Stir all the time one way. Skim it, and when it is as hot as you can bear your fingers in, pour it into glasses. A second lemon cream. Take the juice of four large lemons, half a pint of water, a pound of double refined sugar beaten fine, the whites of seven eggs, and the yolk of one beaten very well. Mix all together, strain it, and set it on a gentle fire, stirring it all the while, and skim it clean. Put into it the peel of one lemon when it is very hot, but do not boil. Take out the lemon peel and pour it into china dishes. You must observe to keep it stirring one way all the time it is over the fire. Jelly of Cream Take four ounces of hartshorn, put it on in three pints of water. Let it boil till it is a stiff jelly, which you will know by taking a little in a spoon to cool. Then strain it off, and add to it half a pint of cream, two spoonfuls of rose water, two spoonfuls of sack, and sweeten it to your taste. 
then give it a gentle boil but keep stirring it all the time or it will curdle then take it off and stir it till it is cold then put it into broad bottom cups let them stand all night and turn them out into a dish take half a pint of cream two spoonfuls of rose water and as much sack sweeten it to your palate and pour over them to make orange cream take and pare the rind of a seville orange very fine and squeeze the juice of four oranges put them into a stew pan with half a pint of water and half a pound of fine sugar beat the whites of five eggs and mix into it and set them on a slow fire stir it one way till it grows thick and white strain it through a gauze and stir it till cold then beat the yolks of five eggs very fine and put into your pan with the cream stir it over a gentle fire till it is ready to boil then put it in a basin and stir it till it is cold and then put it in your glasses to make gooseberry cream take two quarts of gooseberries put to them as much water as will cover them scald them and then run them through a sieve with a spoon to a quart of the pulp you must have six eggs well beaten and when the pulp is hot put in an ounce of fresh butter sweeten it to your taste put in your eggs and stir them over a gentle fire till they grow thick then set it by and when it is almost cold put into it two spoonfuls of juice of spinach and a spoonful of orange flower water or sack stir it well together and put it into your basin when it is cold serve it to the table to make barley cream take a small quantity of pearl barley boil it in milk and water till it is tender then strain the liquor from it put your barley into a quart of cream and let it boil a little then take the whites of five eggs and the yolk of one beaten with a spoonful of fine flour and two spoonfuls of orange flower water then take the cream off the fire and mix the eggs by degrees and set it over the fire again to thicken sweeten to your taste pour it into basins and when it is cold serve it up to make pistachio cream take half a pound of pistachio nuts break them and take out the kernels beat them in a mortar with a spoonful of brandy put them in a stew pan with a pint of good cream and the yolks of two eggs beat very fine stir it gently over a slow fire till it is thick but be sure it do not boil then put it into a soup plate when it is cold stick some kernels cut long ways all over it and send it to table hartshorn cream take four ounces of hartshorn shavings and boil it in three pints of water till it is reduced to half a pint and run it through a jelly bag put to it a pint of cream and four ounces of fine sugar and just boil it up put it into cups or glasses and let it stand till quite cold dip your cups or glasses in scalding water and turn them out into your dish stick sliced almonds on them it is generally eat with white wine and sugar to make almond cream take a quart of cream boil it with a nutmeg grated a blade or two of mace a bit of lemon peel and sweeten to your taste then blanch a quarter of a pound of almonds beat them very fine with a spoonful of rose or orange flower water take the whites of nine eggs well beat and strain them to your almonds beat them together rub them very well through a coarse hair sieve mix all together with your cream set it on the fire stir it all one way all the time till it almost boils pour it into a bowl and stir it till cold and then put it in cups or glasses and send it to table to make a fine cream take a quart of cream sweeten it to your palate grate a little nutmeg put in a spoonful of orange flower water and rose water 
and two spoonfuls of sack, beat up four eggs, but two whites. Stir it all together one way over the fire till it is thick. Have cups ready and pour it in. To make Rataffia Cream Take six large laurel leaves, boil them in a quart of thick cream. When it is boiled, throw away the leaves. Beat the yolks of five eggs with a little cold cream and sugar to your taste. Then thicken the cream with your eggs, set it over the fire again, but do not let it boil. Keep it stirring all the while one way, and pour it into china dishes. When it is cold, it is fit for use. To make whipped cream. Take a quart of thick cream, and the whites of eight eggs beat well, with half a pint of sack. Mix it together, and sweeten it to your taste with double refined sugar. You may perfume it, if you please, with a little musk or amber grease tied in a rag, and steeped a little in the cream. Whip it up with a whisk, and some lemon peel tied in the middle of the whisk. Take the froth with the spoon, and lay it in your glasses or basins. This does well over a fine tart. To make whipped syllabubs. Take a quart of thick cream and half a pint of sack, the juice of two Seville oranges or lemons, grate in the peel of two lemons, half a pound of double refined sugar, pour it into a broad earthen pan and whisk it well. But first sweeten some red wine or sack and fill your glasses as full as you choose, then as the froth rises take it off with a spoon and lay it on a sieve to drain. Then lay it carefully into your glasses till they are as full as they will hold. Do not make these long before you use them. Many use cider sweetened, or any wine you please, or lemon or orange whey, made thus. Squeeze the juice of a lemon or orange into a quarter of a pint of milk. When the curd is hard, pour the whey clear off, and sweeten it to your palate. You may colour some with the juice of spinach, some with saffron, and some with cochineal, just as you fancy. To make everlasting syllabubs. Take five half pints of thick cream, half a pint of Rhenish, half a pint of sack, and the juice of two large Seville oranges. Grate in just the yellow rind of three lemons, and a pound of double refined sugar, well beat and sifted. Mix all together with a spoonful of orange flower water. Beat it well together with a whisk half an hour. Then with a spoon, take it off and lay it on a sieve to drain. Then fill your glasses. These will keep above a week and is better made the day before. The best way to whip syllabub is have a fine large chocolate mill, which you must keep on purpose and a large deep bowl to mill them in. It is both quicker done, and the froth stronger. For the thin that is left at the bottom, have ready some calf's foot jelly, boiled and clarified. There must be nothing but the calf's foot boiled to a hard jelly. When cold, take off the fat, clear it with the whites of eggs, run it through a flannel bag, and mix it with the clear, which you saved of the syllabubs. Sweeten it to your palate, and give it a boil. Then pour it into basins, or what you please. When cold, turn it out, and it is a fine flummery. To make a solid syllabub. To a quart of rich cream, put a pint of white wine, the juice of two lemons, the rind of one grated. Sweeten it to your taste. Mill it with a chocolate mill till it is all of a thickness. Then put it in glasses or a bowl and set it in a cool place till next day. To make a trifle. Cover the bottom of your dish or bowl with Naples biscuits broken pieces, macaroons broken halves and ratafia cakes. Just wet them all through with sack, then make a good boiled custard, not too thick and when cold, pour it over it. Then put a syllabub over that. 
you may garnish it with ratafia cakes currant jelly and flowers and strew different coloured nonpareils over it note these are bought at the confectioners to make hartshorn jelly boil half a pound of hartshorn in three quarts of water over a gentle fire till it becomes a jelly if you take out a little to cool and it hangs on the spoon it is enough strain it while it is hot put it in a well tinned saucepan put to it a pint of rhenish wine and a quarter of a pound of loaf sugar beat the whites of four eggs or more to a froth stir it all together that the whites mix well with the jelly and pour it in as if you were cooling it let it boil two or three minutes then put in the juice of three or four lemons let it boil a minute or two longer when it is finely curdled and a pure white colour have ready a swan skin jelly bag over a china basin pour in your jelly and pour back again till it is as clear as rock water then set a very clean china basin under have your glasses as clean as possible and with a clean spoon fill your glasses have ready some thin rind of the lemons and when you have filled half your glasses throw your peel into the basin and when the jelly is all run out of the bag with a clean spoon fill the rest of the glasses and they will look of a fine amber colour now in putting in the ingredients there is no certain rule you must put in lemon and sugar to your palate most people love them sweet and indeed they are good for nothing unless they are orange jelly take half a pound of hartshorn shavings or four ounces of isinglass and boil it in spring water till it is of a strong jelly take the juice of three seville oranges three lemons and six china oranges and the rind of one seville orange and one lemon pared very thin put them to your jelly sweeten it with loaf sugar to your palate beat up the whites of eight eggs to a froth and mix well in then boil it for ten minutes then run it through a jelly bag till it is very clear and put it in moulds till cold then dip your mould in warm water and turn it out into a china dish or a flat glass and garnish with flowers to make ribbon jelly take out the great bones of four calves feet put the feet into a pot with ten quarts of water three ounces of hartshorn three ounces of isinglass a nutmeg quartered and four blades of mace then boil this till it comes to two quarts strain it through a flannel bag let it stand twenty-four hours then scrape off all the fat from the top very clean then slice it put to it the whites of six eggs beaten to a froth boil it a little and strain it through a flannel bag then run the jelly into little high glasses run every colour as thick as your finger one colour must be thorough cold before you put another on and that you put on must be but blood warm for fear it mix together you must colour red with cochineal green with spinach yellow with saffron blue with syrup of violets white with thick cream and sometimes the jelly by itself you may add orange flower water or wine and sugar and lemon if you please but this is all fancy to make calves feet jelly boil two calves feet in a gallon of water till it comes to a quart then strain it let it stand till cold skim off all the fat clean and take the jelly up clean if there is any settling in the bottom leave it put the jelly into a saucepan with a pint of mountain wine half a pound of loaf sugar the juice of four large lemons beat up six or eight whites of eggs with a whisk then put them into a saucepan and stir all together well till it boils let it boil a few minutes have ready a large flannel bag pour it in it will run through quick pour it in again till it runs clear 
then have ready a large china basin with the lemon peels cut as thin as possible let the jelly run into that basin and the peels both give it a fine amber colour and also a flavour with a clean silver spoon fill your glasses to make currant jelly strip the currants from the stalks put them in a stone jar stop it close set it in a kettle of boiling water halfway the jar let it boil half an hour take it out and strain the juice through a coarse hair sieve to a pint of juice put a pound of sugar set it over a fine quick fire in your preserving pan or bell metal skillet keep stirring it all the time till the sugar is melted then skim the scum off as fast as it rises when your jelly is very clear and fine pour it into galley pots when cold cut white paper just the bigness of the top of the pot and lay on the jelly dip those papers in brandy then cover the top close with white paper and prick it full of holes set it in a dry place put some into glasses and paper them to make raspberry gam take a pint of this currant jelly and a quart of raspberries bruise them well together set them over a slow fire keeping them stirring all the time till it boils let it boil gently half an hour and stir it round very often to keep it from sticking and rub it through a colander pour it into your gallipots paper as you do the currant jelly and keep it for use they will keep for two or three years and have the full flavour of the raspberry to make hartshorn flummery boil half a pound of the shavings of hartshorn in three pints of water till it comes to a pint then strain it through a sieve into a basin and set it by to cool then set it over the fire let it just melt and put to it half a pint of thick cream scalded and grown cold again a quarter of a pint of white wine and two spoonfuls of orange flower water sweeten it with sugar and beat it for an hour and a half or it will not mix well nor look well dip your cups in water before you put in the flummery or else it will not turn out well it is best when it stands a day or two before you turn it out when you serve it up turn it out of the cups and stick blanched almonds cut in long narrow bits on the top you may eat them either with wine or cream a second way to make hartshorn flummery take three ounces of hartshorn and put to it two quarts of spring water let it simmer over the fire six or seven hours till half the water is consumed or else put it in a jug and set it in the oven with household bread then strain it through a sieve and beat half a pound of almonds very fine with some orange flower water in the beating when they are beat mix a little of your jelly with it and some fine sugar strain it out and mix it with your other jelly stir it together till it is little more than blood warm then pour it into half pint basins or dishes for the purpose and fill them up half full when you use them turn them out of the dish as you do flummery if it does not come out clean set your basin a minute or two in warm water you may stick almonds in or not just as you please eat it with wine and sugar or make your jelly this way put six ounces of hartshorn in a glazed jug with a long neck and put to it three pints of soft water cover the top of the jug close and put a weight on it to keep it steady set it in a pot or kettle of water twenty-four hours let it not boil but be scalding hot then strain it out and make your jelly to make oatmeal flummery get some oatmeal put it into a broad deep pan then cover it with water stir it together and let it stand twelve hours then pour off that water clear and put on a good deal of fresh water shift it again in twelve hours 
and so on in twelve more. Then pour off the water clear and strain the oatmeal through a coarse hair sieve and pour it into a saucepan, keeping it stirring all the time with a stick till it boils and is very thick. Then pour it into dishes. When cold, turn it into plates and eat it with what you please, either wine and sugar or beer and sugar or milk. It eats very pretty with cider and sugar. You must observe to put a great deal of water to the oatmeal, and when you pour off the last water, pour on just enough fresh as to stain the oatmeal well. Some let it stand forty-eight hours, some three days, shifting the water every twelve hours, but that is as you love it for sweetness or tartness. Gruts, once cut, does better than oatmeal. Mind to stir it together when you put in fresh water. To make a fine syllabub from the cow. Make your syllabub of either cider or wine. Sweeten it pretty sweet and grate nutmeg in. Then milk the milk into the liquor. When this is done, pour over the top half a pint or a pint of cream according to the quantity of syllabub you make. You may make this syllabub at home, only have new milk. Make it as hot as milk from the cow and out of a teapot or any such thing. Pour it in, holding your hand very high, and strew over some currants well washed and picked and plumped before the fire. To make a hedgehog. Take two pounds of blanched almonds, beat them well in a mortar, with a little canary and orange flower water to keep them from oiling. Make them into stiff paste, then beat in the yolks of twelve eggs, leave out five of the whites, put to it a pint of cream sweetened with sugar, put in half a pound of sweet butter melted, set it on a furnace or slow fire, and keep it constantly stirring till it is stiff enough to be made in the form of a hedgehog. Then stick it full of blanched almonds, slit and stuck up like the bristles of a hedgehog, then put it into a dish. Take a pint of cream and the yolks of four eggs beat up, sweeten with sugar to your palate. Stir them together over a slow fire till it is quite hot. Then pour it round the hedgehog in a dish and let it stand till it is cold and serve it up or a rich calf's foot jelly made clear and good poured into the dish round the hedgehog when it is cold it looks pretty and makes a neat dish or it looks pretty in the middle of a table for supper to make french flummery take a quart of cream and half an ounce of icing glass beat it fine and stir it into the cream let it boil softly over a slow fire a quarter of an hour. Keep it stirring all the time. Then take it off, sweeten it to your palate, and put in a spoonful of rose water and a spoonful of orange flower water. Strain it and pour it into a glass or basin, or what you please, and when it is cold, turn it out. It makes a fine side dish. You may eat it with cream, wine, or what you please. Lay round it baked pears. It both looks very pretty and eats fine. A buttered tort. Take eight or ten large codlings and scald them. When cold, skin them, take the pulp and beat it as fine as you can with a silver spoon. Then mix in the yolks of six eggs and the whites of four. Beat all well together. Squeeze in the juice of a Seville orange and shred the rind as fine as possible with some grated nutmeg and sugar to your taste. Melt some fine fresh butter and beat up with it according as it wants till it is all like a fine thick cream and then make a fine puff paste. Have a large tin patty that will just hold it. Cover the patty with the paste and pour in the ingredients. Do not put any cover on. Bake it a quarter of an hour, then slip it out of the patty on a dish, and throw fine sugar well beat all over it. 
it is a very pretty side dish for a second course you may make this of any large apples you please moonshine first have a piece of tin made in the shape of a half moon as deep as a half pint basin and one in the shape of a large star and two or three lesser ones boil two calves feet in a gallon of water till it comes to a quart then strain it off and when cold skim off the fat take half the jelly and sweeten it with sugar to your palate beat up the whites of four eggs stir all together over a slow fire till it boils then run it through a flannel bag till clear put it in a clean saucepan and take an ounce of sweet almonds blanched and beat very fine in a marble mortar with two spoonfuls of rose water and two of orange flower water then strain it through a coarse cloth mix it with the jelly stir in four large spoonfuls of thick cream stir it all together till it boils then have ready the dish you intend it for lay the tin in the shape of a half moon in the middle and the stars round it lay little weights on the tin to keep them in the places you would have them lie then pour in the above blanche manger into the dish and when it is quite cold take out the tin things and mix the other half of the jelly with half a pint of good white wine and the juice of two or three lemons with loaf sugar enough to make it sweet and the whites of eight eggs beat fine stir it all together over a slow fire till it boils then run it through a flannel bag till it is quite clear into a china basin and very carefully fill up the places where you took the tin out let it stand till cold and send it to table note you may for change fill the dish with a fine thick almond custard and when it is cold fill up the half moon and stars with a clear jelly the floating island a pretty dish for the middle of a table at a second course or for supper you may take a soup dish according to the size and quantity you would make but a pretty deep glass is best and set it on a china dish first take a quart of the thickest cream you can get make it pretty sweet with fine sugar pour in a gill of sack grate the yellow rind of a lemon in and mill the cream till it is all of a thick froth then carefully pour the thin from the froth into a dish take a french roll or as many as you want cut it as thin as you can lay a layer of that as light as possible on the cream then a layer of currant jelly then a very thin layer of roll and then hartshorn jelly then french roll and over that whip your froth which you saved off the cream very well milled up and lay at the top as high as you can heap it and as for the rim of the dish set it round with fruit or sweetmeats according to your fancy this looks very pretty in the middle of a table with candles round it and you may make it of as many different colours as you fancy and according to what jellies and gams or sweetmeats you have or at the bottom of your dish you may put the thickest cream you can get but that is as you fancy End of section 33